But I don't know anything about Queen Sheba. I don't know if she's my age. I don't even know. I'm thinking that she's probably my age. I don't know. But her and I were, she was getting ready to have a little dialogue with me. But I think the basis of her dialogue was to tell me that I'm just not nice. And that I can't say things to people. I that's the, I got that much out of her that I just can't say what I want to to people. I think that's weird, you know, because I'm an adult. I got a, my own brain, my own mouth. She says whatever she wants to to me. She cuts me off. She talks over me. She talks under me. I never say anything. I just feel like it's a part of the show. Some people take it as entertainment. I'm a little bit more serious. I'm just more a little serious minded, especially. See, there's a difference between me and, you know, like I told y'all, the sisterhood. Um, I'm a serious minded person and I do love women. I want women to win. And right now, women are not win winning. We're not. Our behaviors have put us in a place where it's, it doesn't look good for us. Um, me and Mr. Paul was talking about this early today because we own a business, too, just in case some of you all didn't know. And I was like, that darn Joe Biden, a year or two ago, he told everybody the minimum wage needs to be $15, you know, and, and he felt like, see, nobody really heard what he was saying. He was talking about people who work for the federal government. But when you tell one group of people their their wages are, has to be minimum of 15, then everybody heard you. You, turned, you said it over the national airways. So everybody heard it. So everybody now we got to have 15. So, you know, you had so many questions. Well, if I'm giving you 15 and I've been working for you for five years, what is my minimum? My minimum is 20. So you do all these adjusting to these for these employees that you love and need to make sure your business runs efficiently and all of that. You do all of that sufficiently. Excuse me. You do all of this, right? But then he just sets us up for this economy thing that just, this inflation thing, sets us up for the rents on a one bedroom being $1,500. So guess what that just made your $15 an hour look like? Eight. And then it keeps going up. It keeps going up. And I'm like, wow, do you see this? Do you see this? So the reason why I'm bringing that up is because this is why I'm serious about women. And I'm serious about women and children. I don't talk about, about children because my children are all grown. But I speak on the women because women are over children. Man is over woman. So I'm speaking to the ones that are like me. And I say this also in my intro. If, if one bedroom apartment is $1,500 and I'm paying you $15 a month, you're not making it. Now, I'm not telling you to go get a man so you can pay your rent. And I'm not saying that, but I'm just telling you, this is the, if you could foresee anything down the road, around the corner, down the street, you can see that this is not going to look good for us. Okay. This is not looking good for women, especially single women. It's not. So when I say I'm preparing you all to be a wife, that was actually your purpose for being here. Wife, procreation with man, family, nuclear. See, because it's all been, it's a setup, y'all. You've already been set up. You've already been set up to think that independent life, you can live it and be good at it and be just as good as a man. But you already make less than they do. Even with the increase, they took it from you because it was a setup in the beginning to take it from you, to make you think, because it was playing with your head because you want to get so far away from what your purpose really is. Now, somebody somewhere is going to say, I'm bashing women. They're going to say I'm bashing women, just like the young lady last night, uh, not last night, on Wednesday night, Queen Sheba, I think, was trying to tell me that I'm just not nice. I'm not so nice because where we're going is not so good, Sheba. And I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to tell you this. I was getting ready to tell you. I'll let you know. And in me telling you is what I'm telling my comment section in and on this live right now. It's not a good place. It's not going to be a good place. And guess what? The sisterhood will not be there for you. Now, Queen Sheba openly said that she was part of the sisterhood. But I also know silly women, y'all. Y'all y'all know something? Go to 2 Timothy and it talks about a silly woman and let me know if it fits anybody you know. 2 Timothy, go. Talks about a silly woman. And see, just see if it works. Because I know silly women. I can actually identify with them. And that's not what I'm doing. That's not who I am. Everything is not okay. This is why I'm urgent. This is why I don't play with this institution of marriage that I'm telling you about. This is why I am straightforward and to the point about women needing to be covered. This is why. This is this is why. This is all. In, it's not a joke to me. 
I've been in the position I'm in for a very long time. And I ain't got to tell y'all that. But I see so many women that are uncovered and they swear to God they're independent. And, and you want to be independent. Now, see, I, it may look, and I don't even know how it look, but I don't, I'm not interested in doing everything by myself because it's a game. You're being, you, your mind is just paying tricks on you. You're not independent. If your tire go flat, you're not going to change it. God. So anyway, I'm saying this to say the reason why I'm more serious minded or may come off being not nice is because I'm very serious about what I'm doing. I'm very serious about women becoming wives. I'm very serious about us trying to get the nuclear family back in place so we can have some, some resemblance of something normal and, and, and building our, our community. I really would love to see that. This bomb cherries juice says other women are okay being uh, independent. Y'all, did y'all hear me mention silly women? Check it, read it, go back and read it and see. Bomb cherry might be one of those people that are being a silly woman. Yeah, they might be fine, bomb cherry being independent, but you probably got a husband. Matter of fact, I know for a fact that you do. Give every woman an opportunity to be married and be covered and know that somebody got her back. Don't don't push independence. Tell that Negro where he can go. Tell him you don't need him. Don't don't push that. Don't put I'm married longer than you. Absolutely. <laughs> Guess what? You were smart and you know it. I appreciate that. So you should be telling some woman. Hey, you could be independent, all right, but it's better if you have somebody that got your back. That's what you should be doing. But so much, so many times, we have silly women of age, which we call elders, that don't want to relay a good message. And then we have these young girls that are out of order. And I'm not talking about getting married to just anybody. We want men to be the men and the husbands that they should be. So understand what I'm saying. I'm not trying to push a woman just on any man. I'm trying to make men great. Not me, particularly. I'm just saying, if men knew that women counted on them and wanted them to be this way, maybe they would be. Instead of us being nasty to them, beating them up, you know, acting like they're nothing and have no ability to be anything. Maybe that's the problem. Uh, Bomb Cherry says women who want marriage is good and those who don't are fine also. Bomb Cherry, I always speak of women that want to be married, but I'm telling you that there are a lot of them out there that want a man and they want to be married, but they want a good man. That's all I'm saying. We all want a good man. So you really hadn't said anything. I'm agreeing with you. Don't nobody want no good man. No, excuse me. Don't nobody want no bad man. Nobody wants that. So listen, I'm agreeing with you, but stop playing with that independentness. You got a man. See, that's the problem. That is the problem. No correction. You see these girls out here cussing these men out, doing this, doing that. And you won't even say anything. I'm not talking about you, bomb chair. I'm just saying women in general. Won't say a word. Knowing full well, your ass wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. We wouldn't raise that way. You also know the way we were raised is the way to be as an elder person, as an older person. You already know that. But guess what? You wouldn't share it. You think it's cute. So, Queen Sheba, the reason why I am the way I am and have the urgency to tell women what's best for them is because I already know how tough and hard it's going to be for a single woman out here by herself. <laughs> 